Hi guys, welcome to my first review video for my creative year for 2019. Now I'm going to re review some oldies and some newies <laughs> and a couple things that are working really well for me in my new space that I want to share with you all. This is always intended to just be a quick video. Sometimes this year it might be something that's inspiring us currently. Maybe it will be a traditional book review, which is how the reviews started way back when, when we first started this whole thing. Um, it might be a technique video. It might be a product video. These are a couple cheap uh, or I should say inexpensive things I'm using in my current new studio space that I'm really loving. The first one is an oldie that I used in the old space. These clip hooks, these are intended for drapery products. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of these out there. Some of them have a completed ring. Some of them have these hooks. I prefer the hooks because when I want to use them, I can hook them on whatever surface is available, to be honest. Um, a wire shelf on the wall, a bookcase, a table leg, uh, uh, just about anything, the camera if needed. If I need to leave myself a note dangling just behind the camera of what I need to say, because yeah, that's a the thing. These um, are from Daiso. You got like 12 of them for $1.50. Um, so if you have a Japanese dollar store near you, which is what Daiso is for those that don't know, you might go there and look and see if they still have them. I did get them a while ago. I do know there are similar items on Amazon and I will try to link a couple of listings in the description below for you all if you're interested in using these. I have a lot of sort of wire bakery style shelving in my art room and um, these hang off of there very well when I'm doing things like jelly printing and I have a lot of pages that need to be dry, drying but aren't super drippy. I just need somewhere where they can dry out of the way. These are perfect. If they're drippy, I have a whole different system for that. I have a bookshelf with cookie sheets and yeah, that's a whole different thing. Anyway, clip hooks. They come in handy for a lot of things. I also use them for clipping up audio cables and wires out of the way. Um, and um, I just thought of something else and it flew right out of my brain. But anyway, I use them in my art room quite a lot. So you might be interested in, they might work for you. Um, you all should know by now I have a small bits bank. I have a bank of tiny Sterilite drawers that contain a lot of small mixed media bits, everything from um, doodles I created on um, security envelopes that I cut out to doorknobs to um, die cut soda cans. I, literally, there's, there's a drawer of just keys, old keys. Um, so when I want to go over there and I want to bring things to the table rather than make 20 trips, and this looks a little messy right now. This is reality. I've been just dumping stuff in here for the last three or four days. And instead of putting it away, it just got stuck here. So um, I'm showing it to you as it is. But that being said, when I want to go to the small bits bank, generally this big stuff is not on top of here. I can take my cookie sheet to the small bits bank. I can fill it, a uh, cookie sheet, my muffin tin, and I can fill it up with all the little small bits that are currently um, catching my eye that are something I might want to use currently in mixed media. These actually, most of these are bits that I put in here when I was moving and I haven't had a chance honestly to put them away yet or go through it and decide what can go put away that I don't want to use right now and what I'm going to use. Um, so I need to actually clean it out but everything from literally here's a dried up used watercolor paint tube. Um, you just saw me with a bread tie. I use those in my art journals. Um, a tag off of some clothing. Um, here's one of those die cut soda cans. Um, so I'm loving being able to take my muffin tin to my small bits bank, which is across the room that way, fill it up with a bunch of little things, bring it back to the table, and then sit and create. That works for me rather than making 20 million trips to and from the bits bank. Uh, I'm at heart lazy, so you know, if there's a quick shortcut way to do something, I'm gonna take it. This works for me. So, and I usually sometimes will keep it on on this tray, which makes it a little easier to handle. I wish it was a muffin tin with handles, but this little tray makes it easy to just to carry it to and from the small bits bank. And the tray is also from Daiso, by the way. And then when I get real lazy, I can just do this <laughs> and set it off to the side. So anyway, there you go. 
A uh, couple little things I thought you might find interesting that you might be able to use if you want um, more pictures um, of my ways that I'm drying artwork or storing my small bits, let me know. I can certainly share that with you all. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it for today. All the other teachers also have quick review videos, uh, inspiration videos. We're calling it this year, My Muse Says. Right now she's telling me I need to clean my studio. She's kind of yelling in my ear. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Go out and have a great day. Uh, if you want to join my creative year on Facebook, it is a Facebook group with daily inspirational prompts and support to be creative on a daily basis. And if you want to be part of that, um, click on the link below in the video description and join us. You're welcome, uh, anytime, all of you and anytime. All right, that's it for now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you.